Joey Atlas here at the tail end of my upper body training session. Figured I'd share it with you, have you tune in, and also share a little message with you. If you look above or below the video, you'll see today's message. And while you're reading that message, think about someone else who can use that insight, that wisdom, maybe that inspiration, maybe some fuel for motivation. Sometimes people don't get inspired or motivated until they're in enough pain, until they're scared enough to have to do something. It's unfortunate, but it's true. It's typical default human behavior for people to take the lazy, the lazy way out. When you take the lazy way out, usually leads to problems that force you to have to put in the work to do the right thing. And in reality, it ends up being less work than if you took the lazy way out. So if you could think of somebody who needs to hear this message, who needs to see how easy this can be when you can do it right at home or in your office without having to go to the gym, without having to go to the box or the big fitness clubs, that's fine if you like that stuff and you have time for it and it fits into your leisurely schedule, that's cool. But for most of us, we got to slip this into a busy day and we need to because without our wellness we take the expressway to, a, to an early painful premature old age that could possibly lead to premature disease illnesses maladies that we don't need all it takes is an average of 30 minutes a day. Some days 20 minutes, some days 40 or 50 minutes. 30 minutes resistance training done properly, plus maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes outside, walking, jogging, bike ride, hiking. If you're near water, kayaking, standing, stand up paddleboard, running at the soccer fields with your kids, chasing them around the playgrounds. It all counts, but you got to do it. If you don't do it, you suffer the consequences. It's that easy. It's that simple. I know because I've been there. I've suffered the consequences in some of my valleys during the hard times of my life when I let other things affect me. I let things allow me to get off track and they pushed me off track because I allowed it. So I know how painful it can be When we get off track and we're not doing the right things and we let those illnesses take over, I know the pain. I've been there. I didn't like it. And eventually, in one of the most painful low times of my life, the medical profile was going to, to crap. <clears throat> I decided that was it. That was the last time I would let it happen. And ever since then, I've never looked back. I got on the path, and I never looked back. I've simplified everything, made this doable at home, made it doable when I'm traveling, at a hotel, in the hotel room, at the hotel gyms, or a local playground. Now I never, ever, ever have an excuse for getting off track, ever. There's no reason to get off track because this is an important part of life. And when you avoid this, when you neglect yourself, your life deteriorates. <clears throat> so many people out there are living 
or if we call it living, at 50% of capacity. They're out of shape, deconditioned, their weight is creeping up, their health profile is going down, all because they don't tend to their wellness. They're not eating properly, they're eating junk food that society places around them 24 seven, and they're not doing simple, focused, direct forms of exercise that are enjoyable, safe, and sustainable. We don't have to go beast mode. We don't have to kill it, bro. We don't have to be boss lady, weightlifter, go hard or go home. We don't have to do the no pain, no gain, silly stuff. You can see I'm not doing any of that. I'm moving slowly, safely, and I'm talking while I'm doing this. Talking. Some people might make fun of me. All the egomaniacs might say, ah, oh, that guy, he's winging it. He's not serious. I'll tell you what, I'm serious enough to get the health benefits I want from the inside out. I'm not looking to go to any competitions. I'm not looking to go compete on stage. I'm not looking to win any trophies. I'm in this for me. I'm in it for life. And I'm in it to inspire you to do the same. That's the big win. That's what you're competing for. You're competing against yourself for your life. That's it. Nothing else matters. Nobody's opinion. Nobody's suggestions. Nobody's nonsense about exercise and eating right being a joke. None of that stuff. What matters is daily consistency, doing the right thing, having the right mindset, because it all starts here. All starts here. Right mindset, right actions, the right values, the right intentions, and the right purpose that you're going after are all that matter. Most of your friends will not come along for the ride. You'll have to make new friends if most of your friends don't want to come along for the ride. And that's okay, because if you decide to take care of yourself, you will want to either make new friends or bring friends along with you who are also ready for the journey. So be ready for your life to change in very, very good ways. done here. It's my last set for the chest. You can see focuses on chest and back. Since this is mostly body weight and suspension straps, also using a lot of the core. When we use the core, you see we get some fat burning effects. We get all the muscles of the core working to help us in a lot of these movements. So we get the synergistic effect and the multiple benefits as opposed to just doing strict isolation exercises on a bench or an uncomfortable machine with the pulleys and the, the adjustable seats and all that. The more we stay on our feet, the more we put our whole body in the motion and the movement the more full body benefits we get. Even if we're doing focused body zone training like I am today with the chest and back, we get the most bang for the buck in the shortest amount of time. Hence, we get to shorten the training sessions instead of having to be at the health club for 90 minutes. We could do this at the home or the office in about 30 minutes and we're done. We remove all the obstacles, we remove all the excuses. We remove all the blockages. And even though I'm slightly advanced, same principles, same approach, same methodology can be followed by beginners and intermediates alike. There's no limitation on this methodology. That's it. We're done. Focus on your health, wellness, longevity.
from the inside out and the outside will show how you're taking care of the inside. You can't approach this from an appearance and aesthetic point of view. It'll be short-lived, it'll be over with before you know it. Focus has to be on in internal health, because that's where the meaningful parts of this will come from. That's where your values should be based, and all of your intentions that you act on will come from those deeper values, those deeper reasons why you're doing this all in the first place. Share this with somebody you know. Let me know below you saw this, where you're watching from, what else you want to see. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Be ready for the next one.